Hello, you lovely lot. Um, I am Lutra FM. This is my TW series. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little intro before each video now. And I just want to say thank you to everyone in the TW 2020 community who continues to watch uh, my videos and comment and like the videos. And just generally, your support means a lot. Um, even though I do football manager content, it doesn't seem to get as much of a response as the TW stuff. So it is much appreciated. Um, we've got a good show, a good show, sorry, a good episode ahead of us. Um, we we book next two shows and um, it should be a good, it should be a good episode for you all to enjoy as well. And, uh, and I'll be back after this episode. I'll be back on Sunday with another one. So yeah, so just, Keep watching, keep supporting me. I, I always appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, please do. It, it, it's Like I said, the more genuine subscribers I have here who actually watch my videos, the better for me. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. Bye. Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM, back with some TW 2020 goodness with Fight Club Pro. And where you left us off last, we finished the Fight Club Pro Planet Terror show. So basically, after getting some advice off somebody on the, um, I think it was either the comments section or on the Facebook chat that I'm in on the TW group. Um, I think it was a YouTube comment, but yeah, got recommended to um, turn off match aims and things like that. So make it a slightly easier. I want to make it as hard as possible. I want to make it realistic, but also I uh, I want to be able to just book how I want to book and not have to have three different match aims. If I just want all regular matches or all ladder matches, I don't want it to affect um, my rating. So that's why I got rid of it. But yeah, we started the, like I said, we started this show um, with Blue Kane defeating Warren Banks. And that got a 40 rate in. The push for Blue Kane continues. We tried out Chris Boogs, who defeated Doris, and that got a 33 rate in. Um, the debuting Casey Owens defeated the debuting Mariah May, which got a 47 rate in. We did an angle with Ginny and the debuting Kelly Ray, and then they had a match that got a 63 rate in. Um, and then we did an angle with the UK Hooligans, which is the tag team of the Knight Brothers, um, Rory and Zach Zodiac. And they they had an angle with the Hunter Brothers, and then the UK Hooligans defeated the Hunter Brothers to win the Fight Club Pro Tag Team Championship. Um, and then finally, we we did an angle with Kenny Williams and Clint Margera to set up their match, which Kenny Williams defeated Clint Margera in a hardcore match. To retain the heavyweight title, which got a 57 rating. I think that would have got a high, maybe a higher rating if I had just done a normal match, but I just wanted to do something different and play to Clint Strengths, who is predominantly a deathmatch hardcore wrestler. He can do normal wrestling, though. I have seen him do um, normal, regular wrestling type of thing, so he can do it. Um, but yeah, that got a 70, it got a 77 people. Through the doors, we got 600 viewers on WXW now, and the show rating got 55. Uh, I've fast forwarded it a little bit. We now got 72,154 pounds. We made 20,847 last month. So, if we just look at the finances. So, last, last month, we made 20,847 from performance, uh, 693 from ticket sales. 80, 80 pounds from broadcasting, which is a bit poor, but it is what it is. Um, sponsors, 4,459. 68 pounds from merchandise. And then the alliance was the uh, the other big one, really, where we got 22,533. It really does benefit us having Ring of Honor and PWG. I have just offline tried to get other companies to join my alliance, but they don't want to know at the moment. So we will keep trying, trying to expand the alliance as best as possible. Um, but yeah, the main expense last month was simply just the workers and the stack, uh, the show cost, which is only about six grand. Um, marketing, which is 75 and 240, so you're looking about 320, uh, six, you're looking about seven grand. It costs us every month, basically. <laughs> but we've got, like I said, seven grand, but we're making 20, 
We made 20 grand last month um, and our money keeps going up and up and up. So it means now that we can start bringing in some more um, higher paid wrestlers. So after this particular show, I will start looking to bring in wrestlers like Dave Mastiff, Zach David Jr. Still make it, keeping it, trying to keep it local. And also I might bring in one or two international imports because Fight Club Pro did used to have like three or four, sometimes more than that, international imports come in and wrestle against the British guys and stuff like that. So we will look to do that if it's affordable to do so and not, and they're not taking the mick. There was one of the UK guys and he wanted 900 pounds a show. And I'm just like, I'm not really willing to want to pay that. But maybe I might because I, I, I can be stingy with the money to a point. But um, I mean, if we're making all this money, we might as well just spend it if it, uh, if it helps us in any way. Um, one of these things I could do is maybe launch your own broadcaster. I don't know how much that would cost. Uh, we could do internet subscription. I think that's what we'll do. Call it Fight Club Pro Network. Broadcasting style, we'll just do uh, sports. Yeah, pure sports. I think that will be wrestling, wouldn't it? Mainstream? No. We'll just leave it as pure sports. I'll probably get that wrong, but we we'll go tiny for them two and then big for that. How much would that cost us? Can't afford this. Oh, it tells us here. <laughs> Four point seven. Yeah, that's not happening. So we're not we're not going to uh, create our own broadcast at the moment. We just got to hope in time we'll get a a deal. Another thing I'm thinking of doing soon is just starting a weekly event. Um, even if it's not a TV show, but just like a or maybe like a fortnightly event, and then it breaks it up a little bit because it takes forever just to um to holiday in between each month. So it's just it just takes me a lot longer to record stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes. But anyway, we've got our first show of the episode now. Um, Fight Club Pro TV show. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. Fight Club Pro Project Mayhem 2 tonight. So there you go. Um, uh, yep, yeah, so we'll forward to that. And then we'll just wait for this now. Takes a while sometimes. Um, I hope we're all okay though. Um, I just finished watching the AW um, Dynasty show. Really, really good show, top to bottom. Uh, fair play to the wrestlers. Hold on, let me just read this. Soraya Knight lifted locker room when a silly uh, with a silly game created quickly became very popular backstage. Soraya Knight has a people person personality and currently uh, it's currently irritated. Oh, okay. I don't know why she's irritated, but I can't bother to I can't bother to look into that at the moment. Um, automatic. Oh yeah, our deal with um, WXW now was expiring again, so I've re-upped it for another three months. So we'll just keep with them until we get uh, a better deal with somebody else. So right, uh, let's crack on with the show now. Uh, I can't remember whether I need to figure out. I can't remember which order it is. So I didn't. I think maybe I need to do the main event first. No, I don't. I'm on round about. Uh, I think we'll do Blue Kane versus somebody. Blue Kane, male. And then if we just do. Uh, let's have a look who we can wrestle. Wild Boar. And then we'll just do Blue Cane to win, Domination, uh, Protect, and then uh, Wild Brawl. Wild Brawl is furious and uh, whatever. I advise putting it. Okay, so we need to just. Actually, I need to protect Wild Brawl, so we'll get rid of that. Keep him up because I don't want him to go. Actually, he's only just come in. I want him. I want him to be in a good, a decent tactic, a uh, decent tag team with Mike Bird. But obviously, I still want Blue Kane to win. Have I got? Have I got Blue Kane to win? Yeah. Right. So that's the first match done. That's the that apparently is the main event. So let me do another match and let me just see so I can figure out which order it is. So let's do the main event now. So we do male 
with Kenny Williams. And then we'll have him against, uh, let's just get rid of these and these and this. Uh, maybe Chris the Bambi Killer. He hasn't wrestled him yet. He hasn't wrestled Damien Dunn yet or Dean Ormar, Dave Rain, Paul Black Jr. Joe Henry. Oh, he did. He did. He did wrestle. He, he's wrestled Joe Henry before. Like not the last show, the show before, I think. Uh, Michael Oku, he's already wrestled. Morgan Webster, he's already wrestled. Omari, he's already wrestled. Maybe Robbie Eckstein. Maybe Sam Gradwell. I think it's Sam Gradwell, actually. Uh, yeah, Sam Gradwell. I'll do that, and then we'll just do 20 minutes. We'll go storytelling. Kenny, the winner. Where is that? Heavyweight title on the line. Yeah. Right, okay. So, uh, that's fine. We know where we stand now. So, it works from the opening match, I think, downwards because of the way it's done. Now, I changed it. I couldn't remember after the last uh, show. Last, Sorry, the last episode of recorded. So, that's my fault. Right, so we're going to have Ginny. Who's she not wrestled yet? Uh, Bobby Tyler, Shakara, Danny Hunter, Debbie Cattell, Jetta. I don't think she's wrestled her yet, but she actually, I think she might have. Casey Owens would probably be a good one, actually. All right, so there you go. You've got Casey Owens. As always, Ginny will be the winner. And then we'll go open match. Uh, I'm going to go steal the show. Even though I don't need to, I'm just going to put it in there. Oh, no. We'll just do it as a regular match then. Regular match. Oh, okay. I've still got to knock this down a bit. Fine. And then uh, we'll do an angle because they want angles as well. So we'll do Ginny. Fight in. Casey. Fight in. Um, we'll do an angle with Kenny as well while we're at it. Microphone. Sam grab. Oh, no. Microphone. Even though they're not good on the mic at the moment or good enough, they, they hopefully will get better on the mic the more you put them on there. I mean, that's the theory in it. In life, the more you do something, the better you get. Hopefully. Right, so let's do another match. Let's do a tag team match now. There we go. Tag team match. So we'll do mail, tag team view, exclude already booked. Uh, we'll do the Billington Brothers versus. Uh, Do the UK hooligans. Oh, we can't. Mark Billiton is injured for ages. I forgot. I keep forgetting about that. Um, we won't do the Hunter Brothers then. We'll do uh, maybe the Elite. No, not the Elite. The Generation. We'll do that then. We'll do these here. Twenty minutes. Put the tag titles on the line. UK hooligans have only just won them, won the titles. So we better have them win, or else it's going to make a joke of our tag titles. We've got Wild Brawl. Okay, just need to knock this down to fifteen minutes. Uh, knock that down there. Uh, right. Let's do an angle with them anyway. So Rory Knight. Rory Knight, sorry, not Rory. That's Zodiac. And then it was Robbie X, wasn't it? And uh who's the other guy? 
What's the tag team again? Glory by Habit. Oh god, I can't remember who they are. Uh Roster. Alright, let's look at Roster. Sorry about this, everyone. I've got bloody brain freeze. I bet everybody's screaming at me at the video now. Uh, can I why won't he let me look at his Oh that's annoying. Uh, hold on then. I'll just leave it as that for now and then I'll just go back. Who is it? Oh Damien Dunn, for God's sake. Right in. there you go. Sorry about that everyone. My bad. It is uh even though I say when I said in the when I was saying the intro afternoon when I record these videos it's quite early in the morning because I usually do them first thing in the morning when my girlfriend heads off to work because I'm already up at that point. I'm usually my most energetic in the morning, so um yeah, that's why I do the videos now. But sometimes I have concentration problems because of uh, lack of sleep due to having a little puppy that randomly wakes me up because he wants to get into my bed and I don't want him in the bed. So yeah, anyway, enough about my uh, my lovely dog. <laughs> uh, as I said, dog, dog owners will understand the struggles that we have at times. Right, let's do another match. We'll do a women's tag team match. Let's see what we can do here. We haven't got any yet. So we'll do Aaliyah James, I think Shakara as well. I think they'd make a good tag team. Versus Jetta, Kaylee Ray. Actually, no, I think, my, yeah, no, I'll leave it as that, yeah. You never know, we might end up creating a really good women's tag team there in one of them. You never know, push that up there. So we've got um, 103 minutes done so far, we just need to do one more match. So we'll do a single, oh no, we won't. we'll do a crazy 10-way single male match. Get as many workers on there as possible now. So, uh, right, male. So we've got Ashton Smith. Uh, put Chris the Bambi Killer in there. Connor Mills, I think. Uh, Dean Ormar because he hasn't wrestled for us yet so we'll give him his debut see how he gets on Old Black Jr we'll put him there because I don't think he's wrestled for us yet uh, Jason Prime hasn't yet either uh, see he hasn't wrestled for us yet so we'll put him in uh, Mike Bird hasn't either And I think I think Ricky Knight Jr. has we'll put Robbie Sharp in there. I think that's it. Yeah, I think everybody else has made the debut. So this will just be a showcase match where we just and we'll just go. Um, we go high spots maybe. Car crash maybe. No, not car crash. We'll just do high spots. Right, then let's start the show. Oh, I've done it the wrong bloody way, and I? Oh, oh it is. So it's basically, you got to flip in. Oh, I've done that. So this main event, that was not the main event. I'm such an idiot. Oh, anybody else would have just like stopped recording this now, wouldn't they? But, you know, hopefully you'll find humour in my downfall. So the main event... So the one the, the match at the top of the show is not the main event, is it? It's just yeah. Um oh well, we'll just do it in reverse order than everyone. So the heavyweight title will be uh defended in the opening match. I could just switch everything around, but I don't think it makes much difference in the grand scheme of things. This only got a fifty seven. Um Kenny Williams uh not performing very well. Oh that's why. Oh no, our champion's injured. I hope he's not injured for ages. The great performance of Kenny Williams really stood out. So he did put in a, a good effort, but he got injured in the process. And then there's Heat. Well done, Sam Gradwell, you plonker. 
Actually, I will have to re re rejig all this around in a second anyway. Um, I was terrible. I might get rid of Sam Gradwell. He's just injured my champion. I'm really not happy with that. Right, so then this... Yeah, so this needs to go up here. Let me do that, that, that. I'm sorry about this, everyone. Uh, that, and then that. And then we'll have Ginny and Casey as the new main event, I think. And then Angle with them as well. And then that. And then we'll have Blue Cane up here. Um, I think oh, we just need to move that that way. Yeah, so then that's all right. The rest of that should be. Actually, we need to move that up there. Yeah, the rest of that should be okay now. So we do that. Should be blue. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Right, I'll remember for next time. Sorry, everybody, about that. But at least we had a good laugh at my expense. Um, blue cane defeat wild ball. Got fifty-two rating. Um, oh, wild ball seventy-five rating. Okay. That's good. We're going to start showcasing him a bit more, I think. Here you go. This is the one I'm interested in. So who won the match? Uh, Ashton Smith. Right, okay. That's fine. So let's see who performed well. Ashton Smith performed okay. Connor Mills performed decent enough. Uh, Jason Prime is absolutely rubbish, which is not good. So we might have to get, I might, might get rid of him, maybe. Uh, Leah, Leah James. Why the hell have I got Leah James? Oh, for God's sake. Anyway, Aaliyah James will be in two matches in this show because I'm an idiot and don't know how to play. I swear I moved somebody across. Take that. Um, who else performed? Mike Bird performed well. So then if we have Mike Bird and Wild Boar as a tag team, they should be a pretty good worker tag team. So they'll have decent matches. Uh, Robert Sharp is terrible, so we need to get rid of Jason Prime and Robert Sharp after the next show. After this show, sorry. Um, Mike Bird seemed off his game, which is weird. Too long. How long was it for? I think it was only it was only seventeen minutes. Oh, it was a high spots match, so maybe maybe that's why it went a bit off. Because certain wrestlers aren't high spots, are they? Jason Prime. I should have just done it as a regular match. I'll remember that for next time, everyone. Don't you worry. I always learn something new every day. I'm playing this game. That's the good thing about this game, right? Um, Mike Bird looked excellent out there. Well, that doesn't make sense. Mike Bird seemed off his game, but then he also looked excellent out there. Okay. Uh, Robert Sharp was rusty. Uh, so, so that will go soon go away when he's got a few more matches. Okay, so we need to put Robert Sharp in a few more matches. Uh, the angle with the tag teams did rubbish, basically. Uh, the tag team match was pretty decent. UK Hooligans won, and uh, Damian Dunn came out of the match looking good. So Damien Dunn maybe push him as a single star more as a tag than more of the single star than more than a tag team wrestler. Sorry, um, Aaliyah James and Shakara defeated Jetta and Kaylee Ray got a sixty rating, which ain't too bad. Uh, Shakara got a sixty eight, which is surprising. I didn't think she'd be rated as good as that. Aaliyah James had another match, <laughs> double doing double duty today for no reason. Uh, Kaylee Ray got a sixty three rating, and then. Jetta got a 75, so that's good to know. Uh, there we go. Right, the angle with Ginny and Casey Owens got a 42. Let's hope the match does well. Oh, yeah, got a 64. It was all right. Ginny with the standout performance, but Casey Owens not too bad. Could have done with better announcing and could have commented, but we're kind of limited if we're, if we're keeping it local only. Right, so we improved, uh, increased our popularity in nine regions. We got an overall 59 rating and we got 77 people in the game. So the show quality is not as good as it has been. So I need to really work on that. I think the next show I need to basically just pick, try and pick as many good matches as possible, keep them just regular matches um, and then just see how we get on with that. But yeah, 59 rating ain't too bad. Let's hope uh, that Kenny Williams is not out for too long because 
he is an excellent worker on this game and he always pretty much unless i put him in a stupid stipulation match um always does well in a regular normal match and he is my champion and he's been the champion now since i started this, i think pretty much since i started this save so i don't really want to have to then th figure out who to put as a champion but we'll see wait for this to take forever to load up this is the downside about tw just when you're recording stuff it just takes ages Oh my, are we up? Oh my god, 2173. Oh, half year awards, okay. I wonder if any of my wrestlers get them. Probably not. Come on. Faster, 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 faster. It doesn't matter if, you, it doesn't matter if you've got a high performance laptop like I have, it's, it still bloody runs slow, doesn't it? Probably run slower for other people though if they got a more rubbish computer, but uh, each to their own, innit? We, we can only afford what we can afford to have. I was just very lucky that I had the money to buy a gaming laptop. Right, here we go. Oh, Wrestler of the Year so far. Let's have a look at that first. Uh, okay, it's Wrestler of the Year. Oh, okay, Company of the Year so far is AW. Team of the Year is the Young Bucks. Match of the Year is... Uh, Soraya defeating Britt Baker at Dynamite. Show of the Year is Revolution. Young Wrestler of the Year is, uh, so far is, what's her name? Where is it? Where's her name? Oh, N uh, Nanami. And then Veteran Wrestler of the Year is Carlisto. Female Wrestler of the Year is Soraya. Independent Wrestler of the Year is uh, him here. So maybe I'll look to bring him in. I can't, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I'll add him to my shortlist. You never know, I might be able to bring him in one day. What's his name? Oh, uh, Ra... Uh, Rosata? Rosata, maybe. Tributes for Vince McMahon. Oh, okay. So, in the game, Vince McMahon has uh, passed away. I will not personally hold... I will not be bothered because he's an absolute scumbag. I mean, granted, he has created... A world that I've literally known all my life, but it doesn't condone his behaviour allegedly at the moment. Let's just leave it as that. But I think we all know what he what he's capable of from past allegations before. Um, Billy Gunn retiring. That's a shame. Right, let's click on this. Uh, Robbie X. Uh, Rory Knight can't sell anything. Rory Knight. I keep calling him Rory. I'm just going to change the name to Rory in a minute if it carries on. 600 views for there, injured. Yeah, Sam Gradwell's going. I need to get rid of Sam Gradwell and Jason Prime before I forget. And then I'll have a look and see how long uh, Kenny Williams is injured for. Excellent decision. There you go. It's made Kenny Williams very happy, so that's good. I want to keep me top star happy at all costs. Okay, right, so let's have a look at injuries now. Where's medical? There we go. Oh, he's only out for six days. That's fine. Uh, Mark Billington will be back in just over a month as well. Right, so I'll be back in a minute, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do next. Right, we're back. Um, we've got our next show, which is um, called Pulp Fiction 2. So the last Pulp Fiction show we did... Um, Kenny Williams defeated Kid Lycos to retain the heavyweight title. So, uh, yeah, so we'll maybe look at doing that again for this one. See how it goes. Uh, instant involving Soraya Knight. Another one where she were, brought in a puppy to the dressing room, which made everybody happy, which is what we like to see. Right. So let's book the best show we possibly can. So let's start with one-on-one -on -one single. Luckily, Kenny Williams is back. Um, first things first, actually, before I do any of this, I should have done... Um, I've made some new additions to the Olero Star. Um, yeah, we'll do that because I haven't, I haven't brought any... 
I brought Vicky Haskins in, uh, apparently on the game. Her and Mark, her and Mark Haskins are now um, broken up, divorced. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, anyway, so here's some of the new workers I brought in. Big T Justice, been a fan of his for a while now. He's a good big man worker, absolute giant of a man. Um, I can see him in blue cane just tearing it up. Um, Bram, now I know Bram might be a controversial one, um, but I feel like he is popular enough that it would help us and a decent enough worker. Um, and I don't, I actually don't know 100% what he apparently done. I know him and Charlotte Flair didn't have a, a good relationship, but I don't know what else, if he's done anything else. So let me know in the comments section if any of these wrestlers I show you uh, have got uh, basically cancelled or uh, just let me know if they've done anything dodgy and I will get rid of them. So it's the whole, um, I didn't bring in Travis Banks or Al, Liga, Li, uh, Al Ligero or Jack or James Gallagher for the same reasons because they both got they all got um, done naughty uh, disgusting things to women so allegedly or I don't know if it's allegedly or been found guilty I don't know but I'd just rather not risk it. Um, I bought in BT Gun, Bubblegum. Uh, I bought another big guy in, Colossus Kennedy, Cyanide, um, Danny Jones, um, Dave Mastiff I brought in, uh, Dickie Divers, who's in a tag t He's in a stable with a few people and I brought in the other people as well or are... Or, or I'm looking to bring them in. They're not, they're not in at the moment, but they hopefully will be in soon enough. Uh, Eddie Dennis I've brought in. Grado. Uh, Iestian Rees. Jackie Polo. Jace, uh, James Mason. James Scott. JJ Gale. Jody Fleisch, who I think is injured at the moment. I think that's what that red means. Or does it? I don't know. Uh, Jordan Brakes. Curtis Chapman, who obviously, unfortunately, sadly has died in real life, but he's on this database, so I'll just bring him in. Lewis, uh, Lewis Gavan, Leighton Buzzard, uh, who else? Mark Andrews, Martin Kirby, uh, Nathan Cruz. There will be others as well. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go for a few more, but they just haven't come through yet. Uh, Paddy Morrow, Paxo, Prince Amin, who has really good aerial, well, decent aerial and psychology and flashiness. Uh, he is 41 years old, though, but I'm, I'm going to give him a go, see if he, he's any good in the ring. Uh, Ravy Davy, I oh, no, I've already got Ricky Knight Jr. RJ Singh, Rob Lynch, who is in the tag team with um, Dave Rain, I think. So I remember them from uh, used to watching Rev Pro on. Um, it was on a channel. It wasn't the wrestling channel, but it was on another channel. It wasn't that long ago. It was about five or six years ago. Alex Shane was commentating, I think. Anyway, uh, Robbie Dynamite, uh, Robbie Solar. I brought him in because he looks cool as shit with his mask. So I thought the kids might gravitate towards him, bring in more money on merch for the ma for the masks. If I was basing this on real life, that's what I would do. Uh, Sammy Smooth as well um, looks like an absolute douchebag so I thought he would get uh, good heat Shah Samuels Spike Trevitt Stevie Xavier Trent Seven Tyson T-Bone a lot of these I've seen uh, live so and uh, Worky as well so we've got some new tag teams to create while we're at it um, well, we've got quite a few actually. So we've got FCU, which is obviously uh, Mark Andrews and Eddie Dennis. And then we've got uh, Just Us, which is BT Gun and uh, Stevie Xavier. I always want loads, I always like to have loads of tag teams, so it just gives us more, more like ma matchups that we can do. Uh, Shakara and Kaylee Ray. The animals, so we'll put them as a tag team. Try and build up the women's tag team division if possible. 
the anti-fun police, which is what I was talking about last episode. So we'll have them. We'll have them as a stable at some point. Um, I'll do that offline. And then I'll show you afterwards. Uh, the Army of Violence, which sounds like a really cool name. Uh, which is RJ Singh and Trent Seven. It's a shame we can't get Tyler Bate or Pete Dunn in here because I'd love to have the British Strong Style stable in here. Uh, we've got the Brave, which is Sat Phoenix and Rhea O. Sorry, Zan Phoenix and Rhea O'Reilly. So that's another women's tag team, which is good. Uh, we've got the Faces of Fear, which is Grado and Mike Bird. Very new tag team, by the looks of it, only two experience so maybe they haven't wrestled much together as a tag team or they've only just come together we've got the filthy generation which is kaylee ray and steve xavier they are uh, a couple in real life lucky steve xavier um <laughs> yeah kaylee ray is stunning and also i like her because she she's scottish so i'm half scottish so Drew McIntyre and Piper Niven are, by proxy, my favourite wrestlers in WWE. Uh, there you go. Right, so we've got the lads from the flats, which is Worky and Paddy Morrow. They could be like a fun little chatty type tag team. The New Age Click. Uh, why can't we have... At least one of them is currently not. Oh, okay. Right, I'm done then. Let's go back onto the roster for a second. Search. Reset. Right, let's have a look. Chris Renfrew. Manager and... So he's not able to... So right, let's see if we can get him back in the ring. Ah, that's a shame. He doesn't want to wrestle. Might as well get rid of him then, I? No, I'll have him, I'll have him as the manager of BT Gun and that. I'll do that later. Right, let's go back to the tag teams. Sorry if this is a bit tedious. I know people, some people probably just want me to book the show, but uh, let me know in the comment section if this, if you don't mind stuff like this, or if you don't like it and you'd rather I just do the shows and do this type of stuff offline. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. We just added the new age clip two, and then we've got the new age clip. F oh no, we can't do them. Uh, we can't can't do any of these because they've got Chris Renfrew in who's retired. Right, we've got these. The uh, Owen Twins. That's another female tag team, which is good. South Pacific Power Couple. No, we won't bother them. Um, the Wanted. We'll have them. Right, who else? And then... Uh, we've got the Wave Busters. And then... Um, I think there's one more. Yeah, the winning combination, Bobby Tyler and Ginny, which is, again, another tactic, the women's tag team, which is good. Right, now I just need to see if there's any of these that are inactive. Uh, 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 right, so I just do active any type. There you go. Right, so that's the tag team sorted. Now we can get on with the, the show. Uh, but actually, before we get on with the show, £89,575 in the bank. So we'll just have a quick look at the financial side of things again, if we can. I don't think we can actually. Oh, there we are. So last month we made. Oh, no, this is. Uh, oh, no, we're still in the same month, aren't we? No, we haven't. Week 1, July. Yeah. Normally, I'm having a brain fart. So, yeah, so we made £20,000 again from performance, uh, £693 from ticket sales, £8 from broadcast deal, five, oh, sorry, £4,532 from sponsors, £69 from uh, merchandise, and then the Alliance brought us in £24,333. And then uh, we lost about just just over just about eight and a half nearly nine grand last month so overall we're about 11 grand up in profit now our costs will go up because the wrestlers i brought in they didn't want to come in cheaply um, i tried to bring in mark haskins 
but he what he he kept saying he was he had better offers. I went up to about four grand, which is a ridiculous amount of money per show, and he still said no, that's not a good enough. So I said sod you then, and then he the next day he signed for Dragon Gate on a written deal, so I can't bring him in. So out of spite, I brought his wife in. Sorry, according to this game, ex-wife. Not in real life though. Before anybody starts worrying. Um, yeah, right. So let's try and book the best show we can then with what we've got. So um, I think Blue Kane needs to go against Big T Justice first. I think that's the the match that we do to open the show. Do ten minutes. I've got to try and remember how to do this again because remember last last show I did I absolutely cocked it up. Do that. Right. So that's that. That's kicking off the show, I think. Yeah, I think it's that one. That's the first match, and then work our way down the main events at the bottom, I think, from what I remember. Oh, God help me if I get this wrong again. I'm going to look the right idiot. Right. Go female now. Go Danny Luna versus Shikara, I think. Um, do, do a couple of... I'll have a couple of tag teams in there. Four-way tag team. It's a shame you can't do more than four tag teams on this. Right, so we've got a few new tag teams. So we'll go FCU. Uh, who else have we got that's new in here? 101? No, no, no. Actually, no, the 198. Yeah, sorry, we'll do that, yeah. Uh, Army of Violence, maybe. Uh, not the dynamic duo. Uh, no, I won't do faces of fear. I'll, I'll, I'll put Grado in the singles match, I think. We'll do the lads from the flats. And then the new age click two. There you go. Uh, we'll just leave that there. Right. Um, change that. Do a 10 way singles match. Just go crazy. Who should we put in there? We do female. We'll do female. Ginny. Uh, who else is a good worker on here? Jetta. Killer Kelly. Um, maybe uh, Leah, Leah Owens. With Casey Owens. Casey Owens. Come on. I hate this when it doesn't do it first time. Right, Casey Evans. Hayley Lee Ray. Mariah May. Lee McKenzie. Nina Samuels, maybe. Yeah, Nina Samuels. And then we'll just put Aaliyah James in there by proxy. We'll have Ginny as the winner. We go steal the show. Sod it. Why not? Oh no, right. No, let's not do steal the show. I think we should just leave steal the show alone. I think it just it just it never seems to have the right effect that what I want it to do. Right, so that's that. We'll do it. now we'll do a male version of this. We'll just go crazy. It's gonna cost me a fortune this show, but it's uh it's it's worth doing, I think, in a way. Right, so do Ashton Smith in there. Put Bram in there. Bubblegum. Actually, we'll put we'll get rid, we won't bother with Ashton Smith in this one. We'll give him a rest. Just try and put all the new ones in. Put Bambi, Chris the Bambi Killer in there if it lets me do it. Uh, Damien Dunn. No, Danny Jones. Uh, 
Oh, why is it always do that? Right, Dave Mastiff. Uh, Rado. By Eston Reese. Jackie Polo. I'm basically just trying to give as many new wrestlers a match as possible just to see who's good and not good. It will cost me money, but it'll be worth it because we can figure out who the best wrestlers are out of this lot then. Oh, yeah. In men's here. Men's one. There you go. Uh, right. Uh, 103. Oh, don't know what happened there. Oh, sorry about that. Technical error. Right, and then we'll just do six man singles match. We'll have Kenny in there. Back from, back from his injury. Uh, we we'll just keep it like this. Nathan Cruz. Uh, who else? Put Kid Lycos 2 in there because obviously they had the match against each other at the first Pulp Fiction show that we did. Who else? Who else? Martin Kirby, maybe? And then... And seven. All right, 20 minutes. Kenny Williams is the winner. We'll go open match, all out match. Yeah, well, Trent, you'll just have to get over it, won't you? Right, I'm hoping I've done this right. I'll be really annoyed if I haven't. So this is the opening match. We're working our way down. I might change it in the um, in the after this. I'm going to change it so it, so we start at the bottom with the opening match and then at the top at the top the main event because it's confusing the hell out of me and my brain doesn't take much to get confused. Right, let's just quickly look at this for a sec. Trent Seven is extremely happy. Seven happy. Right, let's protect Trent. So hopefully that will keep him happy. No. Okay. So he's not happy about being protected. We keep strong as well. I think that will fix it. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So he's happy now. Right. Let's just check this. Paddy Morrow is being used too much for this show. Well, tough. Right. Let's see how we get on. Yeah. So thank God for that. Right. It's worked how I wanted it to. Opening match. Got a 48. Kane, Blue Kane's starting to um, produce better and better matches. He's got, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose, sorry. He's got um, Johnny Kidd mentoring him, passing on psychology. So, like, his performance is getting slightly better every time. Um, 21 for him. Big Justice, 58. So, that's quite good. Um, Blue Kane was really off his game. But, you know, decent start to the show. I might put Blue Kane in a regular match instead of keep doing it wild brawl and see what see what happens with that. It might be the reason why the match rating is so low and his rating so low because I keep putting him in wild brawl, but I just assume that's the style of match that he does. But I, I I've never watched Blue Kane wrestle, so I wouldn't have a clue. I just know he's a internet sensation, and I've seen little clips here and there, and I just think it's awesome that they've managed to. Uh, create a WWE wrestler and just put blue in front of it and I don't know how they've got away with it but they are or he's got away actually I think he's up to change his name to something else now but anyway somebody let me know in the comments section about blue cane please I would like to have a bit of a history on him but yeah so the next match we had is Shikara defeating Danny Luna they've got a 56 rating uh, both women very close to the same performance level Crowd, uh, the match got the crowd hotter. Uh, the multi, the the four way tag team match, uh, FCU won, and uh, Eddie, uh, stand up from uh, Mark Andrews. So we need to put with uh, next show. I think we're going to have the main event is going to be Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews. If Mark Andrews and Kenny Williams are available at that time, hopefully they are. 
Uh, Paddy Morrow is not very good. Um, who else performed well? Morgan Webster performed quite decent. So we could also have Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews in a tag team match, and I think that would do well as well. So that's good. Maybe have them as the tag champions, I think, moving forward. Or um, Eddie Dennis and Mark Andrews as the tag team champions. But yeah. Paddy Morrow was off his game. The announcing desk and the colour column takes could have done better. But again, decent match. Women's match, Ginny won. Got a 56 rating. Uh, Ginny got an 81 rating. Jets got a 74. Who else performed well? Uh, Kelly Ray got 67, which ain't too bad. Uh, Millie McKenzie was okay. Nina Samuels was okay. Mariah Mayne got a 29, weirdly. Maybe the database doesn't rate her very well. Uh, Dave Mastiff won the multi man men's match and got a 58 rating. Unfortunately, Bubble, I'm oh, sorry, Eastern Rees su uh, suffered an injury. A what? A a scrotal can oh god that sounds painful uh who was the standout performer in the ring bram did uh, bram did that uh, bram did well dave mastiff got 74 jackie polo got 75 so that's good to know jackie polo can good in the ring right and then the main event which was, oh, do you know what? I forgot to do any angles, so maybe I think it might affect the show overall show rating. I should, I should have put uh, some angles in. My bad. Yeah, Kenny Williams retained his title in the um, six-man match, got a 61 rating. Kenny Williams got a 78 rating, so he's back on form. Um, Nathan Krug got an 84 rating, so that's another good possible matchup, one-on-one -on -one matchup for him. Kid Lycos got an 80. So I think maybe the next show I'll probably have... Um, Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews, and I think maybe Nathan Cruz versus Kid Lycos in a match. See if they can gel. Trent Seven got an 83, so maybe him versus Dave Mastiff in the next show as well. So I'm already in my head already building up matches for the next show, which is good. Again, announcing a colour commentator is not good, but what can we do about it? Not much. Um, but yeah, so that got a 61 rating to finish the show. Uh, we only got a 48 rating overall, which is a bit of a shame. And obviously, the, they wanted more angles. We got 85 people, though, so we've broken our attendance record. So that's good. That is good. But there's a lot of pluses there. So then next show, I can kind of, in my head, I've got three singles men's matches in my head that I, want to, I can do. Um, I probably could be able to do a women's match or two that would be relatively decent, maybe a tag team match as well. So... I think the next show will be show rating wise will probably be better than the recent ones we've been doing, but it's still good though. We still had there's still a lot of pluses to come from there, and all the, these new wrestlers that we've got. Um, hopefully, they can all start performing consistently, and we can book some good single matches with them. So yeah, eighty five. We've got we got like eight people more than we did in the last show, so we are. Doing well. Um, yeah. Oh, 899. So we've got more viewers as well, which is good. Oh, Houston Reese is injured. Let's see how long he's injured for. Yeah, medical. Oh, we've got quite a few injuries. Oh, here we go. We can we can uh, oh, operate on Jody Flash, get him back up and running. So he's he'll be back in three months or one week. Uh Shah Samuels is out for five months. Mark Billington's out for 32 days. Iceland Reese is only out for four days. BT Gun's out for three months, three weeks with a broken neck, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good, though. Um, that show cost us a fair amount, though, because the amount of workers that we have. But we'll make it up at the end of the month. Uh, yeah. Right, then, I'll be back in a, with the next show in a second. Right, that was a, a, a really fun episode. Um, basically, I was going to do another show for this episode. And then I realised I've literally gone 50 minutes so far. So, uh, yeah. So this is going to be an end to this one. So there's only going to be two shows, but I had a lot to do on this episode when it comes to showing you um, wrestlers and stuff like that. So, yeah. So the next episode, we'll probably have more actual shows being booked. Um, but, yeah, thank you 
as always, um, and like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It is really appreciated. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on, whether it's uh, playing the game or any like booking advice or any wrestlers, UK wrestlers you want me to... If there's any, like I said, if there's any UK wrestlers, male, female, whatever, you want me to look into bringing in, let me know. If there's any uh, announcers, commentators that you think would improve the product, let me know as well because I'm having trouble with that at the moment. And, um, yeah, just like I said, just keep sharing your support. It's always appreciated. And, uh, like I said, I'll be back on Sunday with the next episode. And uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.